This is Chris Miles. We're at the OC DeLorean meetup and we're going to talk about uh, why and how you should uh, set your mixture for your fuel. And uh, we're going to get started by connecting up the dwell meter. Uh, there is a positive and a negative lead. Negative goes on to the engine ground. I like to use this bracket for the AC. The other positive lead connects to the orange wire on this plug here. This was formerly connected to the diagnostic plug that is no longer really needed. So you can just connect those two terminals together. There's a bit of tape on here. There we go. And then we'll start the engine and we will let the engine get up to operating temperature and it will go into closed loop. And that means that uh, we should start to see a swing motion on the dwell meter. And we want it to be swinging in between the 15 and the 20 mark. So we'll see how close we are. The meter will stay at the 20 reading and we're waiting for it to start swinging. So we will check back when it starts to swing. Alright, so the meter is swinging almost down to 10, so we need to make a slight adjustment. I'm going to turn uh, the adjustment uh, counterclockwise and we're going to observe. Bump it a tad clockwise now, and we'll check again. I'd say that's pretty good. We're going from 15 to 20. I'd say that's pretty close. It's uh, better than going down to 10. I would uh, start the car and uh, then go back and reread it and see if it's holding. All right. All right. Alright, uh, the benefit of making sure your, your uh, mixture is in the correct range is for optimum gas mileage and to make sure that you're not uh, burning too much fuel or too less fuel. Uh, the, the primitive computer in the DeLorean is trying to optimize the mixture and if the mechanical adjustment is off any one direction, the computer is trying to compensate 
either to try to do richen out or lean out the mixture. And as long as you have the mechanical uh, adjustment set, the computer will be able to maintain this 15 to 20 swing on the well. And at that point, uh, you should be able to maintain a optimal air fuel mixture ratio and uh, you shouldn't uh, smell a lot of unburnt fuel coming out of the exhaust. And that's what it takes to adjust the fuel mixture. Thanks for watching.